Data login is on. Go. Yes. Eight thousand. Well, something's broken after that last pull, <laughs> that last little bit of death wobble. At 110, so, 110 miles an hour death wobble, ain't no fun, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it was good, very fun. <laughs> yeah, so again, we got to do some uh, work on this front end, but hey, at least the motor survived, so that was our first... Uh, Nitrous hit, two and five. We'll uh, send these logs off to Dami and see what he thinks of them and see if we can add some more power. And uh, <laughs> that old uh, that 488 over there is still holding holding up like a champ. Hopefully we can get it through the weekend without it uh, exploding, but you know, all in good fun. What's going on guys, welcome back. Um, I'm recording this after the fact. Um, you guys are about to see, we had one hell of a week. Um, Probably one of the hardest weeks I've had in quite a long time, but it was well worth it. Kind of, uh, it's gonna be a long video, guys, so I do apologize. I couldn't figure out if I wanted to do like two shorter videos or two normal length videos or just one long one. So if you guys are interested, you can stick around, watch the whole thing. If you wanna see the good stuff, skip around to maybe about the 30 minute mark, I guess. But otherwise, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy. And sorry, guys, for the. Um, delay in getting these videos out. I had another one set up, but then last week happened. So um, decided to kind of move some videos around. So we should be back on schedule to about a week, uh, video a week coming up uh, soon. But anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoy. Uh, real quick, I didn't address the death wobble that you just seen um, in the video, but uh, basically my drag link was loose on the tie rod. So tighten that up, fix that. So yeah, anyways, enjoy. All over that drain had completely blown off so all the uh, oil from the oil pan was basically just leaking out Well, boys, she's hurt. We're gonna go ahead and tear it down. It's gonna be a long night. We're gonna go ahead and get this motor out. We're gonna get it torn down, and hopefully, the goal is today's Monday, uh, Monday night. Hopefully, we can get this out, torn down, figure out what parts we need. As long as we don't need any machine work, uh, we'll try to overnight all the parts we can get. Hopefully, we can have the parts by Wednesday. We'll get it slammed back together, slammed back in. That way, Thursday, sometime, we're on the road heading out to uh, Utah, so here we go. All right, guys, so sorry, I can't really record. Uh, I need my phone for music, and I'm the only one here, so no one really to hold it anyway. But we got the uh, engine pretty much ready to come out. Um, what I always do is we're gonna pull the last two sets of rocker arms out and the last two injectors out. That'll give us just that extra bit of room to get the motor up and out and uh, clear the cross member. But so far, I mean, valve train looks fine, so. I'm pretty sure we're going to find some messed up rod bearing, maybe main bearings, but you know, nothing hopefully too crazy. But uh, yeah, should have this motor out here in a few minutes and uh, we will start the tear down and then maybe there I can get you a little better view. All right, so the engine's out. Time to get it torn down. Not too bad, but also this is the uh, time that I told myself I would allow myself to go eat. So we will be back shortly. Woo! We got some damage. Whoa! Look at that. 
Something's gonna be messed up in here. I can guarantee you that. Cam looks like it's all right. That's good. All right, guys, in the comments, what do you think? We got rod or main air shoes, or do we have a combination of both? Look at that. That is a lot of glitter and a lot of holy crap. All right, the moment of truth. This looks like our culprit. You can see all the other rods look pretty nice and clean. This one looks messed up. So we're about to pull this cap off and we're gonna find out if we're gonna make it to the event or not because if this crank is scored up, we are S-O-L. Oh, yeah. I forgot these rods are put together with a nice machined finish. They don't easily come apart. So, let's see. Hoping for the best. Prepping for the worst. I didn't do anything. Maybe stop hitting it with my purse. There we go. It's not like I can hurt it more at this point, right? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, where's? Oh. Yeah, that's proper spun, so you guys can see she done spun for sure. And, oh, oh man, that's not looking good. That is not looking good. That is properly done. It's amazing. I was like, maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, definitely under a minute of runtime with low oil pressure. Obviously that's a lot, so. Looks like it didn't really hurt the rod cap. Ah, uh, that rod's pretty scored up. Well, that just about does it. That is. All right, so we got the engine fully apart. Um, pistons all look good. Obviously, this rod suffered some major heating. Pretty, uh, pretty toasty there. Probably should replace it, but if we can get a crank together today if we can make this happen we'll just send this rod we'll get this refinished hopefully at the machine shop but uh otherwise we'll definitely replace this rod uh, outside of that the other bearings all look pretty decent oh, there's no bearing there's they're all there they looked okay obviously some crap went through them um main same thing Pretty much looks like all the crap went through and made a mess from that uh, spun bearing there. Also, you can see just how much heat was generated in that area from this. Uh, this was the uh, number five oil squirter. So yeah, we had uh, quite a bit of heat on that main or that uh, rod. So. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't get something together and hopefully get this uh, engine back together. All right, ahead. we're on the road. We got Gabby here. What's up? We got the engine in the back, so off to uh, our buddy Devin and uh, Mesquite. We're going to pick up the new motor, and then we're off to see our buddy Russell at Enoch Motorsports to get some machine work done. Rickety tick, and then we'll be uh, doubling back to that shop and 
then we're back at it in the morning, so we'll keep you updated. All right, so our buddy Devin over here What's up? hooked us up. We got our new uh, core engine here. We got a good crankshaft. He even tore it down for us. That way, since we are on a time crunch, uh, make sure that the crank was good because it'd be really lame to get to uh, Enoch and then find out we have a bad crank. So huge thanks to him. If you guys are looking for any uh, random parts, he's always got a... Uh, He's, he's got parts, he's got trucks, so. Everything. Yeah. yeah, literally everything. So I would show you the property, but I don't need to, we don't want thieves getting any ideas. Uh, I, I don't think they'd want it's to. It's insured anyways. It's insured and. <laughs> so he's like, actually the address is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a, a fat check right there yeah. waiting for me, so. You need me as wise, just let me know. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm not here from three to five. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> This is not legal advice. This is no. not insurance fraud, no. right? Exactly. I mean, shit. We, this ain't nothing. This exactly. Ain't but all right, man. Appreciate it. Let's get on the road. All right. Here we are. Enoch Motorsports. Let's get it done. Just so happens that I guess uh, our boy Russell here is working nights now. So it's almost like the universe really wants us to work out for us, right? Hey, sometimes that's how it works. So we're going to get the other motor torn apart, get the crank out of it. Man, it's cold here. It is Ooh. cold. And uh, we'll get the OG block on the machine work, get the honing going, and get the crank going. And then hopefully we can turn around and get back to Vegas soon. Russell knocked it out too quick for me to even uh, get it on video, but we got the new uh, Waggler Street Fighter, the replacement, uh, already sized up for the uh, DLC coated tool steel wrist pins. So the thing about it is that these are just slightly bigger than like a standard size wrist pin because of the coating, I believe, and maybe even just being aftermarket. So you just have to size up basically the small end of the rod to get a nice machine finished. in the others that direction so it's half out around basically where it's scoring up yeah yeah so we are gonna have where the scoring was front and back a little here, bit of clearance uh, 11 and a half clearance. <laughs> yeah. so guys I mean what we're doing here is like a Hail Mary kind of patchwork job this motor is pretty much uh, I mean, I guess we could sleeve it and still use this block and well, another. You're standard right now, right? I guess we could bore over. You could you just I mean, don't want to? Walls thinner, you can't push it as hard. Yeah, but I mean, then we could always repurpose. So it's not like this yeah, is a you, wasted you block. Make it, yeah, block's make it a thousand bad. horse block or something instead of a. Yeah. So we're, there's that, and yeah, but yeah, so you guys can see. It's not a perfect cone job, but that's not what we're going for right now. This. Uh, when you're doing a hone job at midnight, a uh, day before you plan to put the motor back together, you kind of just go with what you can get. So it's mainly we had some scoring that we're just trying to get rid of or at least clean up to a point 
Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, you can't even barely see. Yeah, you can see a little more on. Yeah, so, so this is five going right through, yeah. through the bearing material. Out yeah, of. so this is cylinder five. You can see there's still going to be some scoring, but I mean, comparatively. So comparatively, we've uh, saved quite a bit. The only downsides is we did have to cut out what about a thou you said so we we're oh, a, on the ones that, yeah on ones that, that number five aware. five and six was already a hair bigger it looks like yeah i think so we, they're both those both are about the same size now. so they're about 11 and a half thou so guys we're gonna what do you think gabe we should give her some more nitrous right we're gonna give it all got more clearance now yeah we got more clearance it, it can swell just a little <laughs> bit more we need it to swell so that way the rings seat a little better i think we should heat it up some more well I think Dominic is going to be happy when we tell him that. Full sends only, right? I mean, the good news is, right, we have another spare block now. Ready to go. looking better so this is stage one we got to do another yeah, finish do finer belt after that nice and then we can do a micro polish belt too if you want after that sweet it's still warm. so what he's saying is because this was in the uh, hot tank parts washer it actually warmed up the metal and so obviously metal expands when it's warm yeah we're still two tenths over spec on the rods so they're i'm guessing they're right at the big end of spec yeah so you don't want it warm and then we go and machine it down and then we're under spec once it cools down to room temperature so we'll let it uh sit here and get down to room temp throw it outside it's so freaking cold out there it's, it's yeah, nice outside was, was just, yeah it's just, like really 30 nice. degrees i saw santa claus and some here. penguins out here just, just barely under big end of spec. She's pretty. Ready to send her. Well, we lost Gabe already. Oh, nope, nope, she's up. You ready to go home? We're ready. Let's go. We got about two and a half hours. Two and a half hour drive. Looks like we're gonna get in Vegas around four. So, submission. We got, um, you can kind of see, we got the engine and the crank and everything. Huge thanks to uh, our boys over at Enoch Motorsports. Oh, you can't see. Yeah, they rock. This is uh, really nice of them of uh, helping us out, especially this late. Uh, yeah. Russell, I mean, luckily, I guess this is his night. He works nights. He just happened to work out, but, you know, he... Really helped us out getting what we need done, done. And uh, really, he saved the weekend here. So now we're gonna go home and uh, get some rest and then get back at it and get the engine together tomorrow. And well, today, I guess, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, good morning. We're back. We were at the machine shop uh, all night. Uh, huge shout out to Russell over there at Enoch Motorsports. Saved the day, really. I mean, if we couldn't get that done, there's no making this happen at all so uh yeah we got in at like five in the morning got a little bit of sleep and we're back here at the shop so now it's time to take this and make it a running engine so first thing i'm gonna do i gotta take the crank over here to craig and let him uh, weld up the gear make sure it's good and then uh We'll clean up the block while he's doing that, and then we'll start getting uh, assembly going. All right, guys, so we got the rods all cleaned up, and we got the engine going together. Um, we got all the mains specced out uh, right at 4th out oil clearance. I believe either 4 or 5 is like right. It was like 375, like 375,000 to 4,000, like more on my gauge. It doesn't read in 10,000, so, you know, it's more closer to 4,000, so completely fine with that so kind of this is the time consuming hard part of not hard but just time consuming i should say part of building the engine now i just have to spec out all the rods and yeah i'm real glad i got both 
sets of bearings. I got H's and HX's and same with the rod bearings because this is just a mix of bearings here. Um, most of it's H bearing, but um, we got half, half, and I want to say half here. Then there's HX, HX. So yeah, it's a huge mix. So, but we're going to keep trucking along. We're going to spec out the rods and so yeah. Uh, while I was putting this engine together too, we got some bad news um, Last night or this morning, however you want to say it We left uh, a piston up there at Enoch Motorsports in uh, Cedar City So luckily Gabe volunteered right away And he shot up there to, uh, to grab that piston And uh, had to go to Power Driven as well to grab a couple more parts So huge thanks to him And we're going to be kind of waiting on those couple things, but we're working on getting everything kind of cleaned up and ready and prepped. Um, we're going to be kind of at a standstill because we're going to need the oil squirters, but you know, we'll get all the rod piston assemblies put together. Uh, we could throw a cam in, but anyway, we're going to keep uh, trucking along and uh, see what we can do. All right. So we got the uh, rods all specked out running about three and a half to four thou clearance with H bearing. So, Nothing I can do to change that. Um, I'm not too mad about it. So now we'll uh, clean up the piston rings as best as possible, get the uh, wrist pins all cleaned up, and we will assemble the five pistons and rods that we have. And then we'll set the crank in the block, and we will pop in the five pistons and rods that we have now. All right, guys, what's going on? Um, so last night, I, I forgot to upload it. I was just so upset. So last night I went to put the piston rings back on and like literally the first oil control ring broke in my hand. Um, so woke up this morning, called around, tried to find some uh, piston rings here in town. No luck. Um, did find a set again <laughs> and power driven. Um, so again, power driven saving the day here for us on uh, this project. But again, got to go back up to Cedar City and uh, go get them. So. That's what we're doing today. Um, I don't know why, I, I should have just bought them from the get-go. Um, when I called Power Driven initially, I called about getting a set of pistons and they weren't in stock. Um, I didn't think to ask about rings. I don't don't know why, made it hard on myself, but it is what it is. Um, it's Thursday morning now, so uh, it's about eight o'clock. Takes about three hours to get there. Half hour worth of dealing with it then three hours back so we get here back at the shop probably two three o'clock then we hustle we fit rings um granted my ring my uh, piston the wall is wide enough where i probably won't even have to gap any of the rings they're just going to be what they are and uh we slam the engine together it'll be a mission but i think we're going to make it happen um, and then I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and drive it at least if not all the way up there at least half the way up there to really get those rings seated uh, make sure everything's good so it's gonna be a long night so uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do stay tuned guys So we got what we needed. We got a set of rings. Again, huge thanks to whoa, whoa, Power Driven Diesel. Having all the uh, random miscellaneous parts we've been needing. So now it's back on the road. Get to the shop and get these rings on some pistons. Get pistons in block and get block in truck. And yeah, we got a lot of work ahead of us, boys. All right, boys, we're pulling in the shop. Let's get some work done. Holy crap. It is busy. Nowhere to park even my truck. You can see Omega's out there. We had uh, K Chuck went ahead and pressure washed from all the oil. So, see what we got going on. Let's get this engine together. All right, so we're going to start prepping the rings to get ready. These are all the old ones. We're going to trash those, obviously. But what I'm going to do first is. Um, Gonna kind of work a little different than I normally would as far as assembling the engine. I'm gonna get the front cover 
and the rear um, main seal cover on. That way uh, the RTV can start setting um, and then I'll go and do the piston rings and then that way by the time we go to put cam in and everything we got uh, RTV pretty much dried. All right, so we got the pistons all cleaned up as best as we can. We got the uh, rings all specked out. They all pretty much spec to the same gap that I had before. So now we're gonna go ahead and start getting rods on pistons, rings on pistons, piston rods in block. All right, we got pistons and rods in. Now it's oil pickup, oil pan, and flip her over, put head on and keep going. All right, so we got the head on, torque down, all the oil system sealed up, oil filter on, oil cooler on, uh, oil filled up, and we got the rocker arms just on, and we got our trusty drill pump going, so let's see if we can get some oil pressure and see, make sure we don't have any leaks and whatnot. Here I'll get like loaded, with the drill flowing. Let's try them out. Huh. Yeah. So we're checking to make sure we get oil out of all of our rockers, which we are. And we want to make sure our front and rear freeze plugs aren't leaking at all. And the oil cooler and everything like that. So one of those steps that we take to make sure we don't have to pull the engine out or pull the trans out or something. And to make sure some of our work is correct. All right, with the help of Gabe over here, we got the engine back in the truck. So now it's time to dress it all up, get all the harness, everything hooked back up, get the last two injectors in, get all the rocker arms installed, valve lash set, and then uh, ready for first fire. About three in the morning. How you feeling? Oh, like new. <laughs> three in the morning. We got the truck running, uh, as you've seen, and we just got it uh, up to temp and just went ahead and did the hot retort. All the bolts moved like a quarter turn, so we're gonna let her cool down, take a break, and then we got to start assembling the front stack. Yeah, we're gonna full send it. <laughs> Pretty much. after one hell of a week and just about anything that could go wrong did go wrong whether it was the RV or the truck or parts or whatever we're finally on the road to Randy's Dino event we got uh, about a six hour drive ahead of us depending on how fast we can keep this thing going so far it's doing pretty well towing the truck this is uh, the first drive out with this RV Huge shout out to uh, my business partner Dennis for letting me borrow it for the weekend. And uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see how it does and see what we can do with the truck as well. We got Gabe here, sitting shotgun, been with us basically this whole weekend or this whole week. So these kind of things you can't do alone. But uh, yeah, we'll check in when we get there. Oh, that makes more sense, I guess. So, yeah. Now you know. It is like 4.30 in the morning, and I've been up driving since 4 o'clock. So. 
Well, we finally made it. Don't mind Sleeping Beauty over here. This drive took way longer than it should have for some reason, but we're here. I got about an hour's sleep, and yeah, so this should be fun. God dang, she got a little dirty. I don't think she's ever been this dirty. All right, boys, so yeah, check out that new hat. Picked it up at the Maverick. But uh, we're almost up. We got, uh, there's a truck on the dyno, then there's two trucks, then it's us. So we got the data logger going. We're gonna see what we can do. Hopefully, uh, I'm just hoping the motor stays together. I don't have a problem with how we built it, just the fact that we literally about have about 30 minutes of runtime on it. Alright guys, so you just seen, we got on the dyno and we ran a 1251 on fuel and then she sounded good so I went ahead and let it spray and we ran a, well, the second run I ended up uh, forgetting to go into overdrive so that was kind of a, a trash run, it made like 1100 something horse. Um, but then the third run, we gave it all the beans and she made 1414 horsepower so she pretty much hit our goals i mean my goal from the onset of this build was 1200 1300 on fuel and 1415 on spray so now we're gonna do uh do some homework and see where we can improve and then let's start shooting for that next goal but overall i'm super happy uh you definitely can't complain definitely uh after all the heartache this week definitely paid off so Guys, this is what peak performance looks like. Stock wheels, dirty as hell. Stuff in the bed of the truck. This is what it's all about. Definitely need a wash after this weekend. She did good. You can hear she sounds good, runs good. Ready to go do it all over again, so. Yeah guys, I'm super stoked. Huge thank you to Randy's Transmissions for putting on this awesome event. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start loading up, but we're gonna give Randy's one of these transmissions back, and then we're gonna start loading up and uh, hit the road home. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm sorry it was such a long video. It just, there was a lot that went on um, and again. And, I was super tired. I was trying to just keep you guys updated as much as I could with having to get everything done. I mean, basically the motor blew up Monday at six o'clock and Friday three in the morning, we were 
getting it back running and getting it back on the trailer basically by Friday afternoon. So it was quite the mission, especially because I didn't have all the parts. And as you guys see, we did three runs to Cedar City between going to Enoch uh, Motorsports and going to Power Driven twice. So huge thank you to Power Driven. I mean, you guys had all the parts that I needed. Without you guys, couldn't have made the event. So as you guys seen, we made 1,251 horse on fuel and we made 1,414 horse on a 99 shot of nitrous. Super stoked on those numbers. Definitely, uh, we got some good data from the data log. We're working with uh, Dami over there. We're gonna figure it out. We got definitely a lot of room for improvement. Um, we're gonna do some changes to the truck and you know we're gonna work on the next set of goals, I guess. I am very happy with how the truck performed. Um, I just, I'm stoked guys. I mean, I, this really since I got into the diesel industry, my dream was always to have a like over thousand horse diesel pickup and you know that does 10 seconds in the quarter mile which we haven't done yet we got very close we did 11.16 uh, at 124 um but i mean i got no doubt that she's got tens in her all day long it's just how deep in the tens we're gonna go so again guys super stoked thank you for watching um i want to give a quick shout out to the people that really made this happen uh first off gabriel he stuck by me the whole week without him I probably couldn't have made it happen. Um, you know, things like this don't really happen alone. Uh, it's very hard to do alone. So uh, again, huge thank you to him for sticking through the week with me. I um, also want to thank my wife for putting up with this kind of shenanigans. I mean, you know, she had to hold down the home front, basically, make sure everything was good at the home, take care of the kids, everything. So huge thanks to you, babe. Appreciate you. Thank you for putting up with me and putting up with this uh, love for the sport that i am in also guys gotta thank dami our tuner without his tunes none of this is possible you know you can build the best engine best have all the best parts but without good tuning it doesn't matter so thank you to him and then of course thank you to our sponsors guys i mean they're the guys that make it happen the guys that helped us on this build from the start and that are helping us every day i mean we even got to meet some of them like our guys over at dynamite diesel of course talk to randy's transmission uh randy matt the guys over there, um, of course, fast fuel systems, keeping us fueled up with our dynamite injectors. Um, and then we got XDP diesel, getting us all the parts we need and fleece performance, always helping us out. I uh, can't thank you all enough. I mean, without your help, you know, these kinds of builds wouldn't happen. It's like they say, it takes a village to raise a family. Well, it takes like a village of good parts to build a quality product. And these are products that we use here in the shop. And as you guys see, I use them on my vehicle. So I trust in them and I use them uh, myself. So when we're selling them to you, you know that they're proven. And of course, I wanna thank Russell over Enoch Motorsports because without him, this week wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't have made it to the event. I mean, we got lucky. Basically he works nights, I guess, on certain days. And it happened that the day I needed him, he was working nights. But you know, huge shout out to him moving his schedule around to, Basically, you know, he was like, dude, just bring this, the block up here. We'll make it happen. I know you want to make that event. So um, again, guys, thank you to everybody for supporting us on this adventure. And I hope you guys stay tuned for basically the next chapter of what we're going to do with this truck and, uh, you know, the diesel sport in general. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, hit like. If you have a comment, question, whatever, drop it down below. And please subscribe if you guys are interested. Um, and seeing more content like this. Uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions, let me know. But uh, again, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.